call you the fourth week and say, hey, Ricky, I'm ready to buy. That's how this thing works, man. It's a snowball. And the more you put in on the front end to develop the database, everybody's so worried about how much money they're gonna make in 2021 when it absolutely doesn't matter at all. I've been an agent for 20 years and I just, I do, I guess on you guys' standards, I basically do the smallest deals out there. You know, I just do this three, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand dollar deals uh, for the most part. But I do a hundred deals a year. I've sold a hundred deals a year since 2014. This will be year number eight. I'm just a single agent, one assistant. You know, I'm still grinding away. I also coach for free. I've been doing that for four years. I got 40,000 agents and you know, I'm, I'm trying to transform the industry of real estate coaching, you know, by saving people money on real estate coaching. There's a lot of, uh, most of it's a rip off, let's just say, and um, not really teaching the right things on top of you charging you for it. And then, uh, you know, just to piggyback on our initial introduction of conversation here, which was buying leads, you know, if I can save agents money that they would have spent on leads and show them a different way to have a have build a better business, much cheaper without buying leads, and also skip the whole buying coaching part, I just saved the whole industry several thousands of dollars every month. All right, and that email after you make that great first impression shows them how dependable, hardworking, honest, consistent, right, that you are. Because you're making the email, it's custom, you're, you know, it's original content, you're giving your opinions on the market and you're giving them real stuff, not how to cook shrimp etouffee, all right, not how to, what color to paint your walls in the fall, not 10 buyer tips to win offers in this multiple offer. They don't, that's not what people are interested in. They wanna know local stuff, local stats about you, your opinions, and when you you start doing that on a weekly basis very consistently, they start to view you as this very outspoken, original, consistent, hardworking real estate agent, and you become in their mind the real estate agent that they want to work with when they decide to buy or sell. And so what it does over time is it develops this automatic business where you have so many people who know you and love you for who you are, and then it comes to a point where you don't have to build your business anymore. Past clients, referrals, and referrals of referrals just flow into you automatically. You don't chase business. Business chases, chases you. Powerful stuff, and it's real simple. So I just gave you guys literally the complete secret to my success. I think it should be the secret to everybody's success in the industry. But you know, who am I to tell someone to not to go use social media or do open houses or door knock or do direct mail or any of the other things that they're doing to try to avoid talking to people one on one only to come back to talking to people one on one. Let's go buy Zillow leads because we don't want to make calls just to turn around and call the people that Zillow sends you. I don't want to make calls. Let's go door knock just to make a list of people that showed up to the next day, sit down and call them, right? It's all gonna come back to calls. It's all gonna come back to calls and talking to people one-on-one. -on -one. The common denominator for every closing is a real conversation. You're never gonna get to the closing until there's a real conversation and someone feels comfortable with you. If you can't master the skill of talking to as many people as you can and make as many people feel as comfortable with you as possible, you're never gonna reach the highest levels that you really wanna reach in your mind that you see everybody else hitting, but you can't figure out how to get there. It's real simple. I just gave you the formula. In four years, each of you can be the number one real estate agent in your market. It could be that simple. It could be every week. You just change that, change the link to the new listings that week, every week. It could literally be that simple and you just send it out every single Wednesday at the same time. And they start to see it every Wednesday in their inbox. Maybe they're not opening it. That doesn't mean anything because they're not interested. In two years, they become interested. They open the email three weeks in a row and then call you the fourth week and say, hey, Ricky, I'm ready to buy. That's how this thing works, man. It's a snowball. And the more you put it on the front end to develop the database, everybody's so worried about how much money they're gonna make in 2021 when it absolutely doesn't matter at all how much money we make this year right in 2023 you're not gonna care how much money you made this year you're only gonna care about 2023 but you're only that the amount of money you make in 2023 is only gonna be predicated on how much work you put in to build your database and the amount of friendships you build this year so why are we even thinking about this year right we got to keep telling ourselves things are hard to do number one because things aren't hard to do okay it's easy to get up go to the gym, eat breakfast, answer DMs, start working, crush the day. That's easy. I agree with that it's hard to do it for months and years and decades. I agree with that part. You have to be built a certain kind of way for that. But you know, man, I mean, it really comes down to that's what separates the winners and losers though, right? The winners do it and the losers don't. So you just have to look at yourself in the mirror and
and say, am I a loser or am I a winner? Now, I'm not perfect, right? I don't have, I like the, the areas I struggle in, okay, diet, which is, not, I'm actually not that bad on my diet, but I'm not perfect. I'll admit that I, you know, I had a drug and alcohol problem that I quit eight years ago. That was a big problem. You know, I, um, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I think about, maybe I'm a little too obsessed with work sometimes, right? That can be a problem. Why do I say in business, look at 2024, but in fitness, I'm telling myself I'm looking at next month. And so last week was literally a turning point for me. And I started to think I'm working out for the 2024 Ricky. I'm planting seeds. I'm doing reps for the 2024 fitness of Ricky, right? And now I have this totally different mindset when I go in the gym now, you know, and I'm real, I'm actually pushing harder. I'm actually pushing harder now than I was because, be because before it was like, I was pushing for results today that I wasn't getting. Now I know I'm pushing for results. I'm going to get in three years. And so now you're in a different level of motivation. Same thing with business. If you start thinking about 2024 and quit, you know, you're, if you're frustrated, you're not hitting your goals this year, it's going to hold you back. Cause you're just like, what's the point? I'm not going to hit it. So what's the point? But if you think I'm, I'm, I'm going for this huge 2024 goal, it's going to make you go harder day to day now, because you know that you're planting seeds for 2024. And that's a result that you're going to hit. You know what I mean? And so that creates a scenario where you actually blow up in 2021. You really need to watch that interview that I did with David Cohen from yesterday. I mean, I'm not, I mean, like I'm not a big podcast listener myself. Like I kind of find it almost a waste of time most cases, but you being in this position you're talking about, cause this is what this guy did. He cold calls. He does exactly what you're talking about. And he talks about all this stuff. You should actually re watch that. It's very good, but we, we compared, we compared businesses and what I found interesting and it made a lot of sense was that on the commercial end, he has like a handful of like 30 or 40, 50 clients. And that's all he needs. Cause these guys are constantly, you know, investing in properties and buying stuff. And, you know, he's got like five or 10 that are like mega, mega groups that are like, can like buy like hundred million, 200 million, 500 million dollar things. And then he's got a bunch of smaller investors, you know what I mean? And he has this group of like 50, something like that. I can't remember what the numbers he said was. Just take something I'm said today or something in one of my videos and just crush it. Just keep on trying to be the best you can be. You know what I mean? That's all I want. What part of Alabama are you in? Um, is there really different parts, man? Nobody wants to come here. <laughs> I'm on the beach, man. I'm right on the Florida Alabama line. <clears throat> now, Alabama is really cool, actually, man. Um, I, mean, I mean, I grew up right here on the beach and like, you know, Destin, Panama City, Fort Walton, all that beach, it just extends into Alabama. Nobody really knows. So there's white sands, palm trees, million dollar condos. It's like, it's, it's an island is what it is. And it's really incredible if you Google Gulf Shores, Alabama or Orange Beach, Alabama. So that's where I'm at. And I sell mostly Gulf front condos and stuff down here. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's really, it's really paradise, man. We don't worry about a lot of stuff. A lot of the rest of the country worries about, to be honest with you, which is, which is nice. And, um, you know, I'm just down here living my best life.